Now I know why this particular brand is problematic. Also Team Selena, just gonna put that out there. Okay, then when it comes to drugstore, I have a few really, like a couple of really nice palettes over here in my hand. It's most favorite for a little bit of an emotional reason, but I think it's also most favorite because. Any guesses? <laughs> Welcome to today's video. This is a video that I've actually been meaning to film for quite some time to be honest but I did procrastinate on it just a little bit because it is bound to be a really long one. By now you can see the time duration over here on the video so you will probably agree. I hope that you've got your chai, coffee, a drink, a snack, a meal with you by now to kind of watch this video with. What I'm going to do is review pretty much each and every palette as we go through the course of this video. I will end up using this video as a way of kind of also decluttering my eyeshadow palette collection because I don't reach for everything as much so I'll also tell you the ones that will be moving out of my vanity as we go through this video I am going to tell you which ones my favorites are and what I reach for a lot more basically there's a lot of details coming up let me not make the intro long let's dive right in I want to start off with my newest eyeshadow palette this is not yet my favorite but it is something I see a lot of potential in being my favorite for I have the Hindash Monochromance palette over here. I got this in PR from the Nykaa Global Store, Nykaa Cross Border Store a couple of weeks ago and I've been eyeing this for a while, I will be honest. It is such a stunning, stunning, stunning eyeshadow palette. Some really beautiful colors over there. What obviously catches my eye is the very unique ombre, uh, you know, layout of displaying those colors. You can actually reach for them in light, dark, and in this little medium tone in the middle. I feel it's really unique. I feel like it's super, super beautiful. Most of the shades would work really well on typical Indian skin tone, like a medium, medium to deep like mine. I would say um, some cooler tones, tones over here, I would be a little bit more careful about using. I'm still to really deep dive into it like I said I've only used it once or twice at this point um, and so far these are the two shades that I see myself reaching for very very often which is heart throb it's heart and throb from light to dark I like the way they've named them and heavy petal would I recommend this palette yes I would because from the first couple of times I have used it it blends out really really beautifully my main tip would be to use very dense brushes while um, you know blending your pigments out because even though these are powders they almost work like creams on the eyelids which is actually really beautiful talking about beautiful big palettes i cannot forget about the new nudes palette from huda beauty i really like the way huda beauty palettes come with big very generous sized mirrors over here really really beautiful the shades are fantastic I reach for this palette when I'm looking for those rosy, you know, kind of makeup days. Today I'm using a different one, but if I was aiming for this look with, you know, a palette in particular, I would reach for this. I would go on to say that even though they do have shades that work well for medium to deep skin tone, it is a little bit leaning more towards working in the favor of shades that are light to medium. So make of that what you will based on your skin tone. Um, I do think that the glittery, you know, kind of pressed down cream to glitter formulations they have over here are very, very unique and very nice to work with. As you may tell from the way this palette looks and from the way, you know, on how used it looks even, I feel like I reach for the deeper shades for more, you know, glam eveningish looks. And these ones I use on very like barely there, neutral, uh, nude, natural wash kind of makeup days. It is very, very stunning. I would recommend this mainly if you are light to medium. Medium to deep will really have to be creative with this side of things, I have to be honest. Okay, I want to talk about these mini Nykaa eyeshadows because I feel like, I, at least in my eyes, they didn't really get the hype that they truly do deserve. I got all of them in PR and uh, I think I gave away quite a few to followers, subscribers and stuff as well and I only held on to about three. I think there were a total of eight in total. I've used the shade brunch party on my eyes over here today actually I was filming a video before this as well and I feel like these are some really really fantastic formulas. These retail at about 230-250 rupees or something like that. These are made in China, they are not made in India uh, but I do think that they've done a fantastic job with the formulations of both the shimmery finishes as well as the matte finishes. I have to go ahead and mention something specific over here. Because it's Nykaa I feel like they won't do like shady ingredients and bad ingredients and they don't need to even because they have the scale and volume 
uh, I mean, they are the number one beauty platform in the country at the moment. Um, even when it comes to, for example, I mean, if you just go to see that they have this amazing joint venture with Katrina Kaif. K by Katrina is a joint venture between Nike and uh, Katrina Kaif. And I feel like they do some fantastic formulations with that brand as well. In fact, you'll see one of the palettes coming up really quickly, really soon in this video. Um, but I do feel like when they price something this low, it still makes me go like, oh, but wait, what is the level of quality of the ingredients that goes into it? That's typically the lens that I look at it with. Because it's Nykaa, I give it the benefit of doubt. So I'm going to be really honest about that. Because there's really expensive, which sometimes makes absolutely no sense, obviously. And then there's something that's really, really, really cheap. But I'm like, wait, what's the quality of this? You know what I mean? I question that. Because I understand Nykaa's might, Nykaa's scale, I give it the benefit of doubt. But when it comes to a few others, sometimes I'm a little bit iffy and a little bit cynical. So I kind of have to be honest about that. In this price range, this is easily one of the best eyeshadow palettes. Um, because I'm mentioning things that are very cheap, I kind of have to go ahead and give a little bit of a moment to this one over here. Mars is a brand that I've tried a few products of, a couple that I've liked. For example, their felt up liner is nice. And then I remember trying their mascara. It smelled like it had such a strong, bad fragrance. I can't remember what it was smelling like. Was it perfume? Was it alcohol? I can't quite recollect. Um, but when it came to this eyeshadow palette, I did I did reach for it quite a few times. I actually forgot I have it clearly because I used it a few times and I stopped reaching for it. I feel like when it comes to a lot of these nine quad palettes, a lot of things can be similar. I'll go on and give you this as an example over here. I feel like a lot of the nine quad palettes can seem similar, but I mean, at the end of the day, you have to be honest. I have to be honest. Everything is done in beauty. So you have to be truly unique to be doing something that's completely out of the box. Like, Case in point, the Hindash eyeshadow I just showed you guys. Um, Mars is a brand that I feel like I've liked a couple of things in and not liked a couple of things in. I haven't fully made up my mind about it. But once again, in my head, I'm like, how much volume are you making to be able to be this cheap? Or what quality ingredients are you using? Just as a beauty uh, enthusiast, those are the questions that come to my mind. In terms of formula, it's kind of nice. I prefer the shimmery shades here as opposed to the matte shades. I feel like the shimmers blend better than the matte. If you were looking for a matte palette, I would not recommend this. This is called the I Belong in Your Purse eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be linking and tagging everything in this video, so don't worry. I will have your back on that front. Since this one's in my hand, let's go into this. The exact name for this palette is... I mean, it's the Manish Malhotra My Glam 9-in-1 eyeshadow palette. This one is called number one soiree. They have a whole range of these. Can I tell you that from all the Manish Malhotra My Glam collection pieces, like items, category of items that I have tried, I feel like their eyeshadow palettes are probably the best. They do have some fallout, but I fallout doesn't bother me personally because I've understood the difference in products that have less fallout but then take more time to blend. It has something to do with the level of pressing in the pans. Again, this is information I've learned while building my own beauty brand. Um, I do like this eyeshadow palette quite a bit. What is the retail price for this? Okay, it is priced at 1850 rupees. So I'm not sure if I would recommend this because I do think you can get a bang for your buck with bigger palettes and better palettes within that price range. Okay, so I want to give you a little bit of a detail. I was quickly looking at the back of it to see the expiry. Typically, makeup is two years, three years. Like for example, with Wearified, with our lipsticks, blushes, highlighters, we formulate everything in a way that it's good for three years. Here, however, the eyeshadow palette says 18 months since it has been opened. I don't know if it's, you're going to be able to read it. But this open lid icon says 18 months. And I've had this since 2021. So this palette is going in the bin. Okay, then I have another Manish Malhotra eyeshadow palette. First off, quickly checking the back of it. It says use before May 23. So I feel like it's good for a few more months. Uh, one more month. We're on 4th April as of today. Now I have to tell you, even though I've already said that I like the formulations of the Manish Malhotra My Glam eyeshadow palettes, in this particular eyeshadow palette, the middle one is my absolute favorite pigment. I feel like it is just so stunning. You can see I've used and abused it quite a bit. Um, it's probably my most reached for shade in this palette. So again, 1859, I feel like, I feel like when it comes to budget, 
life is so subjective so you decide whether it's worth it for you personally i feel like there are better options out there when it comes to that price range when you're only getting like nine little palettes nine little shades in them okay hot take i have this color bar palette over here for you and uh, mind you i think color bar does fan fantastic makeup wait now i'm checking expiry dates for everything wow okay used before march 23 so it's time to give this one up i clean a lot of my makeup like literally on a monthly basis we go through this as well as my stock box and my my stock section like which is basically where a lot of the stuff comes out for giveaways and stuff if something is going to expire within the next 6 months even i throw it away i don't give it away i don't start using it nothing just to be on the safe side you know better safe than sorry this one has expired last month so it's going to have to get thrown out irrespective but what i was coming to was that i feel color bar does fan fantastic makeup okay like their felt liners are just some of my absolute go to their new moussey foundation launch that they did in the pandemic actually in 21 if i'm not mistaken was a fantastic formula i feel like they do some really great categories of makeup but their eye shadows are not it for me unfortunately not this one at least their jacqueline collection and i think there was another palette that came after this i should have it somewhere here was much much better so just giving you the disclaimer that this one over here that looks like this it's called the hook me up eye shadow palette this one in particular i'm going to give it a pass okay then i'm going to talk about the cuffs and lashes summer time eye shadow palette cuffs and lashes does some really cute packaging and this is just an example of that i, I think that nidhi puts in a lot of hard work on this brand this palette in particular was not for me only because of the shades but i have to say that the formulations are really really nice can i since we're talking about cuffs and lashes can i just specifically give a shout out to their new palettes which i am using so much um this one over here is their 12 color mini palette this is from the shy styles collection and then there's the glitter palettes also oh my god there's so many in front of me that i don't know what's kept where um i have used these so much in recent times in fact it was this palette that i used to create my first lakme fashion week look i'm inserting b-roll somewhere here of that self care sunday video where i used this palette their glitters are like their glitter palettes it's going to come out of somewhere i just need to wait for it to appear because i'm sitting in front of a mountain of eyeshadow palettes are just the best i've tried in this price category if you want to get your hands on one cups and lashes item if you haven't tried the brand before and if you're into glitters like proper nice glitters for your eye not shimmer i mean glitter but not chunky in a bad way go ahead and get your hands on the shy styles uh cups and lashes i shadow palettes i feel like they have genuinely done such a good job you can see some like one or two of the glitters in this palette that i'm holding in my hand over here um but then i also have literally an entire palette full of just glitters which will appear somewhere on this table at some point and i highly highly recommend those because they look and feel and apply fantastically I'm so scared of Oh here it is. I just said it would appear and I didn't realize there was just one other palette on it. These are golden. I urge you guys to get your hands on these. I've used this one so much of late and there's so much product in here. Nidhi if you're watching this, this is literally my favorite cups and lashes product I've tried till date. They've also sent me the new launches of uh, foundation and concealer. I haven't gotten around to using them yet, but I should do that soon. Maybe in my vlogs we'll do a wear test or something. That will be super interesting. Okay, then I have a few one, two, three different um Lakme spotlight palettes. I feel like as you can see, one of them has broken over here. So the packaging, I feel like Lakme again is India's number one. makeup brand their distribution their scale uh the volumes that they sell they are literally the number one most sold brand in the country uh they are a hindustan unilever brand right and i feel like they have the might and the amazing ability to do so much i feel like they still can do so much more as a brand very very honestly speaking they have the money they have the distribution they have uh you know they have so much but i feel like they don't do enough and these palettes i like but i also don't like i will be very honest um i'll tell you which ones i don't like like this palette for example i'm confused are you trying to be a neutral palette are you trying to give me a pop of color are you trying to throw in some color doesn't work for me okay i'll tell you the one i like also 
this one again very similar problem are you for a cool tone are you for a warm tone are you for a medium are you for a light just i feel like there's something off with the way they're designed this is the palette that i have used a few times and does work for me this is the smoking glam palette i feel like this works really well because it's got all your classic shades in it i can go neutral i can go smoky there's not I'm not confused about who are you catering to with this palette. So I do feel and wish that they were a little bit more on trend or not just on trend. Like nobody needs, what are they doing? 35 shades of red or whatever. Beautiful that you're doing it. But this is a category that you can do so much more in as well. And you can as a big fat brand. You can, you can, you can. Um. Okay, then I have two Mars palettes over here. I've used one and I haven't used one. No, I've used some in both. Okay, I have two palettes from Mars over here, as you can see. This is a full, full, full shimmer palette. And this is a mix of a few mattes and some shimmer palette. Again, I will repeat that, you know, I've already said what I wanted to say about price points and how I'm just very cynical, for lack of any other way of putting it. But I have enjoyed these formulations. If I had to recommend any one of these palettes to you, I would recommend this shimmery palette because I feel like the shimmers were easier to blend and easier to apply and you know kind of nice to go on plus bonus points for the fact that their shades in these shimmers are actually really nice and uh, would work across even medium to deep skin tones which is a big filter that i keep in general when i'm reviewing products because we're indians and we're brown and a lot of us um you know kind of don't find the shades that we want or like and i appreciate it when i find shades that i think will work for us at this point, I'm playing with fire. Some pile around me is going to fall. It's a good thing you can't see it. <laughs> okay, then this is another one of my more recent palettes. I received this in PR when Rude Cosmetics launched on Nykaa. Really, really stunning colors. I feel like, uh, again, shades that I appreciate. Barring one, this one over here. But then this could also work for a matte highlight on your brow bone. So I think it does work really well across most Indian skin tones. The glitter is easy to work with as well, which is a really like major call out. Because sometimes in some palettes, I feel like the glitters become really complicated and messy to deal with. So with this one, it's a really, really nice one. They have shimmer and glitter textures. I don't know the cost of this, to be honest, because I did receive this in PR, but it is 10.8 grams. I'm leaving links to everything down below. So if anything does catch your fancy, you know where to go and click on them. Um, I like this palette. I feel like there are other really nice ones too. So I wouldn't put this very high on my love list, but it's also not a bad palette. So, and it's the first item I think, I think I've tried from Rude Cosmetics. I don't think I've tried anything else from Rude. Okay, this next palette I'm about to show you, don't scream at me in the comments. It's expired. I don't use it. It's just with me out of, um, I think just memory sake, to be honest. I bought this Kylie Cosmetics palette in 2017. I don't know why I'm holding on to it. There's no special memory. The memory that does come to mind is the fact that my then assistant, Trisha, uh, who was a big Kylie Jenner fan, and she would buy all these um, Kylie lip kits. And if you remember in 2017, it was not a full-fledged brand. So they used to do these drops and things would sell out. And it would be according to the US, uh, you know, Pacific time zone, I think. And so one would have to stay up till really late in the night or wake up at a random hour in the middle of the night and order things. So one of the times I had asked her that I'll pay you when you're ordering your lip kits. Can you please order this palette for me? Which I think was... I want to say this was their second item as a brand, but I'm not exactly sure. So please don't come at me. Um, but it is a really, really, I literally have hit pan on nothing. Um, it is a really, really, really good palette. I use this for matte uh, brow bone highlighting. It, in terms of formula, in terms of shades, in terms of the way it's been designed, I have nothing to bitch about this palette on. Very, very honestly, not bitch about, but like give like all feedback on. I have nothing to say that didn't work for me in this. I could create so many different looks simply because there was a lot of variety. Of course, it is a very neutral uh, palette, but for a neutral girl like me who's trying to put myself out there and change things up, um, it really, really, really did work. I'm not impressed with a lot of things Kylie Cosmetics is doing anymore. Also Team Selena, just going to put that out there. I feel like uh, what they did at the start had more like heart in it and more Kylie in it. 
and uh, now they're doing just stuff that everybody else is doing kind of you know what i mean if that makes sense then i have the nk birthday cake eyeshadow palette not as pigmented as i would like some colors like the colors look really nice over here and i was really excited to put it to use but i have to really build up so would not necessarily recommend this also i think the main color i've actually gone again to even build up made that effort on effort is the times that i've gone in for a yellow because you know me i love yellow but this palette needs to go it should go now i need to check like expiry dates for a lot of things okay then i have these two k by katrina palettes over here these are priced at i want to say about 1400 1200 1300 and a little confused should be able to remember these things but clearly there's too much around me to remember i'm going to go ahead and link them once again really nice palettes i have to say really nice palettes even when you look on the inside they've been designed and put together really beautifully i appreciate the mix of matte with um, shimmery tones and even if you see these shimmery tones they go on really really smoothly which i really appreciate the shades also this is a more velvety shimmer um i was afraid i was going to start doing this because once i start doing this it's like oh my god i'm going to turn into a palette myself i really really like this um the touch the feel the way they blend is genuinely really nice i haven't used them as much as i should maybe i should use these more often would give these a major major thumbs up so gonna put that out there um pixie by petra listen i love pixie's uh skincare when it comes to the eye shadows mm, i'm not there yet i feel like they blend really nicely go on okay but are they as pigmented as i want them to be are they giving me you know the entire look how easy is is it to put together i'm a little bit on the fence about this so as of right now if you ask me no i would not necessarily recommend this also considering this is only like 12 and i think it's like how many grams it's 16 grams so i want to give you perspective going back really quickly because i was looking for the grammage to k by katrina i shot a palette have this really nice infographic on the back and i want to specifically say and appreciate that they've given credit to the illustration uh, to the illustrator for the cover illustration gorvi sharma i'm looking for how many grams this is but i think i put away like put aside the cover now for example this is 10 grams and this is 16 grams so i feel like it's too big i wouldn't travel with this packaging it's just not something i see myself having and using on the go which is a big minus point from my end because i feel like i want to be able to carry things around if i really like it right that's where the nykaa chotu palettes really win also because they're just so travel friendly which brings me to okay i wasn't going to talk about these two right now i was going to wait for the end to bring these two palettes up it's okay i have more favorites to talk about later the dior palette oh my god this dior backstage eye palette is in the shade 007 coral neutrals and i cannot tell you how much i love it and how much i use it both on and off camera the shades are beautiful super easy to work with if you've seen absolutely any close up shots of me from my trip to saudi a few months ago the only palette i carried with me and used over there was this one over here whether you're looking for a simple wash with shimmer whether you're looking for a color whether you're looking for a smoky this palette truly does have something or the other for absolutely everyone i'll give you an example i'm just touching into this brown tone here which has the littlest amount of uh, shimmer in it like it's almost matte now it's matching with my skin tone quite a bit in terms of like exact but you can see how beautifully it goes on uh my focus is picking up on my face i'm sorry about that but basically what i'm trying to say is this is stunning even when i went for the cosmo blogger awards i had just this pearlescent you know kind of thing on top of my eye shadow which was this one over here it is wait what have i not um it is just so pretty i have used this on top of i'm waiting for the focus there you go um i've used this over and above any and so many eyeshadow palettes i don't know if you can see it exactly because it's basically nude but it just gives this little specks that make your eyes just look so beautiful um the dior concealer is one of my favorites the dior eyeshadow palettes is also one of my favorites i have to tell you so stunning and i would say i mean this is subjective but in my opinion worth the money 100%. Okay, then when it comes to drugstore, I have a few really like a couple of really nice palettes over here in my hand. 
I'm a huge fan of palettes where you get that one shade in multiple textures or that one shade and then a lighter and a darker like you saw with the Hindash palette for example. This palette looks like a mess because again I have really used the hell out of it. Um, I really really love this NYX Ultimate palette. I feel like it is something that I have gravitated to for so long. It has probably expired at this point. I should be throwing it away. It is the shade Warm Rust. My friends have bought this looking at it with me because it's so easy to use. Even for someone who is a beginner, Side note, if you're a beginner in makeup and you have specific videos you want me to do, please drop those requests down below in the comments. I want to do more videos for beginners. Um, even my friends who are like beginners and absolute dummies in makeup, for lack of putting it in any other way, have reached for this and they use it. So it is something that I really like the way it's designed, the colors, the construction, the way it's been pieced together. Um, even the shades, like I'm not someone who would normally gravitate towards an orange, but I've actually mixed up this coral orange tone with the pink or with the brown and it has looked stunning and can still look neutral if you play with it well. My god, I'm talking so much in this video. My big fat tongue needed to come out at some point. If you have not had water in the last hour, this is your reminder. Pani pilo. <laughs> Okay, another drugstore palette that I have over here. This one is the nude palette from LA Colors. LA Colors correctors everyone loves and has used. The concealers, I'm still like, mm, okay, for backup only, but their correctors are fantastic. And um, this palette. Wait, I need to tell you why I think this is another one that every beginner should have. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it across all the elements, but you can actually see usually like when you buy it, you can see crease, you can see lid, you can see like what it says. And I feel like that makes it really easy highlight. You can, that makes it really easy for like a new in makeup person to also use this palette. I love the fact that it has a nice mix of cooler and warmer and neutral tones. I feel like it is one of those palettes that I have used so much, um, I forgot I had it because I have a lot of palettes. I should go back to using this. I think it's expired, so I'll have to buy another one, to be honest. Um, I Again, what I really like is when brands help you use their products. So if you look at the back over here, you'll see one, two, three, and they're literally telling you where to place. What I was saying when my camera battery died was that this makes it really, really easy for beginners in makeup to also know how to use the product, and I really appreciate it. Next up, let's move to one of my favorite palettes. I have over here the Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, I was going to come to that in a second. I was going to come to that. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. And what you don't expect to happen to this palette is to have one of the pigments fall out. This has been the case of this palette since it got delivered to me. But the formulations are just so good that I've been putting it back every time like this and using it you can see it's quite a dirty palette it is very very used because the shades are absolutely stunning <laughs> oh my god the pan is here and the pigments how am i gonna do that wait i'm gonna press it down like a cake mold and i'm gonna turn it upside down and i've survived am i getting an award for this Basically, it's a really beautiful palette, has amazing formulations, but I hate the fact that you can see the gum underneath when you take, well, when the pan falls out, not when you take the pan out. I'm going to hold it down to show it to you this time. It's a really, really stunning palette. The shades are beautiful. I feel like the entire Pillow Talk range in general, uh, whether it's lipstick or whether it's the eyeshadow palette, is really, really genuinely stunning. Would recommend this for light to medium skin tones. Anyone deeper than me may not enjoy this palette as much as, you know, the rest of us might. Only because it's very light, but they might have shades in it. So if I find those online on Nika, I will go ahead and link them down below. Do I think this is, is it a good palette? Yes. Do I think it is worth it? Mm, I don't think so. It is an expensive brand. Some of their products are worth it. I'm going to put that out there. Some of their products. Okay, then you have the Blend the Rules palette over here from Sugar. I really 
really like this palette i feel like it has a really nice formula i feel like they go on really brilliantly i do not know why my camera is not focusing okay there you go i love how neutral this particular palette is the one in my hand is zero to warrior and i feel like you can do a smoky with it you can go neutral with it you can just keep a really nice classic eye with it comes with a brush that i have tossed out i do not use eyeshadow or palette brushes most of us don't to be honest if you want really nice eyeshadow brush recommendations it is gonna have to be the verified one we have an offer running on our brushes so if you've made it so far into the video i guess the reward should be that i share that offer with you you can use the code that i'm leaving on the screen right now and you will get a thousand rupees off our complete brush value set um which will hopefully be really useful because our brushes i will be honest are fantastic um i'll go ahead and leave a link in to the brush launch video so that you can get more information on it just in case that helps so this one would get a big thumbs up from me it is a really really nice very useful palette very affordable then we have this gorgeous palette from sigma over here i feel like this is a really really beautiful palette if you why is it not focusing there you go um it is a really beautiful palette if you are a lover of pinks i know i love pinks and i feel like i have a lot of palettes that clearly exhibit that love for pinks um do i think it is worth it it is subjective again but i do want to say the fact that there's no mirror is a little bit of a minus point for me i feel like when you go into the high end range i kind of go in expecting a mirror to be there because as someone who does my brows with a smaller mirror i may have a big mirror in front of me while doing my makeup but when i'm doing my eyes when i'm doing my brows i want that smaller mirror here and i land up using my verified mirror uh for pretty much everything my verified component our blushes and highlighters have a mirror inside them even so i feel like i wish it did have a mirror inside it the packaging doesn't feel very luxe or very high end because i feel like you have primarily two types of packaging in the world of eyeshadow palettes you have cardboard packaging paper based packaging and then you have plastic based packaging this is paper based cardboard cardboard based packaging but then a good example of cardboard based packaging would be this over here which is one of my next couple of palettes so the Huda New Nudes palette that I showed you even this is paper based packaging but paper based packaging can also feel and look really nice and luxe and i feel like when it comes to packaging the sigma eyeshadow palette kind of misses the mark when it comes to formulations and shades it gets a thumbs up from me okay so then let's go into lime crime lime crime is a brand that is now available on nika i know that they're a controversial brand but to be honest i don't know all the details about that so i can't quite comment on that i'm just going to be really honest but i do know that they've had a troubled history in terms of things that have happened with the brand i should sit and do a little bit of a google search over that after i film this video um this palette feels really really nice and luxurious i also particularly love the fact that it comes with a decent sized mirror the shades are not for indians i have to be very honest and tell you i feel like if you are like when i say not for indians i mean typical indian skin tone medium to medium brown anyone after nc40 let me put it like that um i do feel like people who are light to medium may enjoy this there are some shades that could work but in general overall i would not recommend this for indian skin tones i find use in it with a few shades here and there but um, yeah no unfortunately then let's go into wait i should go into this <sighs> can you tell what this is can you tell what this is leave a comment down below and say i can tell they are and then what are they i have a bunch of huda beauty palettes i genuinely think huda beauty does some beautiful beautiful palettes their formulations are stunning do they sometimes just do the same thing over and over in a smaller to bigger form yes hard agree um do they sometimes make launches that don't make sense to me because i'm like what was the need of an all matte palette like we just yeah so those things i'm going to call out and say okay wasn't required but there's a market for everything to be honest especially when you're at that scale i am just going to give you a generic answer to these over here all superb i want to quickly actually since it's right here i should show you in my hands the difference between what a plastic versus what a paper packaging looks like this is the paper series and this is the plastic series 
they sound different as you can see and i feel like pura beauty like i said they have some of the best 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 layouts of designs and pigments when it comes to their palettes stunning shades and great formulations in my opinion totally worth it on to the next one now i know why this particular brand is problematic but i also have to give due credit to the brand not the creator uh that the product formulations are really fantastic i'm talking about the jeffree star blue blood palette i got my hands on this literally just as soon as it came out and uh, had it shipped to me i feel like jeffree star's concealer and loose powder as well are products that i have absolutely enjoyed using i don't purchase from this brand anymore for reasons that are you know fairly understood i don't know why i bought this palette to be honest because it's just so blue and it's not like i'm obsessed with blue and will find ways to use this palette or whatever but if i'm being perfectly honest the product design aspect that goes into this brand and the way they do their product i think i just wanted to own one of these palettes at the time um it is something that i haven't thrown even though it's an obviously expired palette because i bought it over 2 years ago um it just it's it's just something that's there in my cupboard for again maybe memorabilia it's just there for um it, i wouldn't use it because it's expired but it's just there I don't have I don't have a I don't have a legit response to this. Would I recommend anything from this brand now? No. If you can get past the fact that there is a um very controversial figure uh whose brand it is, then yeah, go ahead and try the concealer and loose powder because like I said, credit where credit is due, those formulations are fantastic. Personally, I cannot get myself to it. So there you have that. um much related to jeffree star i guess we have morphe over here i have had quite a few palettes from morphe uh one or two of them that are done dusted expired out in fact i have another new one that came to me in pr but it's in my pr file so i haven't opened it as yet so i can't review it this one over here the truth or bare palette is available on nika and is really really nice i feel like the tones if you're a neutrals classics person like me you will find use of this palette i like the way it has medium to deep tones so you will find use of this in some way or the other um would i recommend this yes i would great formulations also morphe has declared bankruptcy on some accounts so i don't know how long we're going to be able to get their products for so i would recommend you buy and keep them if you like them as a brand next up we have a very new palette that i have not gotten around to touching at all it's just sitting there i have the nyx ultimate edit over here maybe because i pulled out one of those colorful ones now i can go into using this cannot review this because it is brand 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 new i haven't even opened it the tape is still on it literally um nyx does some really nice stuff so the expectations are high but unfortunately you're going to have to wait for another video for me to go into that Suva Beauty. Okay, I again threw out the brush that I think came with it. I really like these pigments. I'm somebody who doesn't play around. Focus. I don't know why my camera is giving me a focus issue today. The colors on this are absolutely stunning. Colors that you can play around with and make more colors. I love that there is a white in this because white liner is something I have genuinely truly struggled with finding something that goes on easily and doesn't look patchy at all. You got to mix these in with water and apply them. Or I also believe you can use these as eyeshadows as is, which is why I'm mentioning it in this video. Otherwise, I wouldn't mention it at all. If you are someone who will creatively use and juice these products, I would recommend them. Okay, then we have the rose quartz palette from Huda Beauty, similar to the new nudes from the shades and the skin tones and all of that aspect. However, this one over here is it's plastic, so it feels a touch heavier. In terms of feeling lux, I don't think I have any differentiation between what feels more lux between paper and plastic as long as it's well done. Because if it's badly done, even plastic can feel really, really cheap. Beautiful palette, very unicorny, rose quartzy. Can I use this for every day? Maybe a little bit here and there. I would land up maxing out on one or two shades in that space. Would I recommend it? I would recommend it more if you were light to medium. Unfortunately, just because the deeper tones that there are, I mean, you kind of have to mix them up to play around with it. So I'm on the fence. Do I reach for it? Yeah, I do. But would I recommend it at large? I don't. 
I feel like if I'm recommending things at large, it should you should be able to have multiple looks and uses come out of them. The next palette is this modern renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And if you look at this up close, you'll see the absolute wear tear stains on this palette. I have used this palette so much. You can see how absolutely dirty it is and how some of the pigments have, you know, kind of gone really deep. I haven't hit pan. But what I, I have to tell you, as much as I love Anastasia eyeshadows, I was very heartbroken to see the open sign to only six months. Typically, eyeshadow palettes should last for, I mean, I'd hope they'd last at least for a year or two. This one in particular literally was good for only six months. I should throw this out. I don't know why this has been sitting in my drawer for this long. Um, but it is one that I really did enjoy. The shades were beautiful. The formulas were beautiful. So if you buy your modern renaissance palette, just keep that one thing in mind about the six month angle usually with all the others it you know like for example this huda beauty one over here lasts for 24 months so that's just a simple comparison for me to give you but in terms of shades and formulations big thumbs up oh also in terms of packaging big thumbs up because it has like this you know um velour velvet like finish which makes it feel and look really luxurious next is a palette that i actually really really like this is the mac artistry palette beautiful shades again one shade in multiple gradients and textures really appreciate that it's a big one so you can't exactly like you can travel with it but you can't like just like mm -mm, mm -mm. i don't know how i'm explaining this um if it's a smaller nyx palette nika palette um cups and lashes palette even mars palette for that matter the smaller ones I feel like this is a little bit heavy. It's also a little bit bulkier by design. When it comes to formulations, it is fantastic. The shades are fantastic. Come on, it's MAC. And uh, from that point of view, I would 100% recommend it. We have two more Pura Beauty palettes and one other palette before we go to what is probably my absolute favorite palette in like my entire collection. Then we have the Mercury Retrograde palette over here beautiful stunning shades i like that they have more for deeper tones over here um i like that they have a really beautiful shimmer formula going on the mattes again i've told you this before huda beauty's formulas are just stunning i like that they experiment with things i forgot to give a call out but one of their other palettes i think it's the new nudes palette actually comes with a concealer in it so in case you're a cut crease kind of gal you're covered um i want to go ahead and give you a little bit of a wishy swatch over here just so you understand ah really just i mean it's not looking even here because my hand and nerves and position and trying to keep it in focus but beautiful formulas genuinely 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 beautiful i feel like digging into it and just going in and doing more to my eyes but i feel like my eye makeup's looking really nice so i don't necessarily want to ruin it just yet not ruin it but you know i'm wearing lashes this that blah 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 i'm getting tired a little bit so i'm kind of glad we're towards the tail end of this video we're down to the last three palettes i have another huda beauty palette like i said this one is the empowered palette i love the concept of them making this a qr code and then like you could participate in contests and stuff and they created some really fantastic content through this this palette looks and feels regal black and gold stunning packaging i feel like they've made that one mold and they're using it in so many amazing ways just giving you a little bit of insight from the production standpoint um again i feel like i'm gonna sound like a broken record but the formulas are really really great when i got my hands on this i did attend the huda beauty nike event here in mumbai there was um a whole span of a couple of weeks where i could only reach for this palette and use it the gold shades the ease which with which they go on and blend absolutely stunning they also have a couple of cream finish ones over here and i want to particularly call out one shade over here it's called manifest which is a mix of powder and cream um i'm waiting for my camera to focus this one it is so 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 beautiful i want to go ahead and just give you a little snippet of how charisma looks and again i'm gonna ask your forgiveness for my sloppy hand swatches but ah can you see that it just goes on so so beautifully you know what if there's anything that i'm taking away from this video it's that I need to play with my eyeshadow palettes more. I'm such a classic neutral create looks that others can recreate kind of gal. Maybe I should just go ahead and 
do things for fun um you know just generally speaking content wise without keeping in mind whether it's recreatable or realistic to wear or not this i have the spooked palette from forever 52 this is the second last palette of the day it's a big one so it's obviously not very travel friendly it doesn't feel luxe but forever 20 forever 52 is not a luxe brand it's a very in-between kind of brand uh, they did have a beautiful gold quite similar to the one I actually just watched from Huda but it had fallen out the minute it had gotten delivered so like a little bit of a thing there to keep in mind this palette reminds me of those like OG Morphe palettes because lots of colors lots of things lots of options really really good formulas I am gonna say that their glitters are really easy to work with their shimmers go on really nicely their mattes also go on really nicely my main advice would be to make sure you're using really nice dense fluffy brushes thinner brushes flatter brushes may not make the cut but I like their selection of um, shades and I feel like it's a palette that you could do a lot with not travel friendly for obvious reasons the size does not support that well are we down to my absolutely last palette and probably my most most favorite it's most favorite for a little bit of an emotional reason it's a great palette and great formula and great shades but i think it's also most favorite because any guesses it's my most favorite because it's my favorite content creator's palette. I have the Tati Beauty palette over here. Um, obviously, it has expired because I bought it literally when it came out. I bought every Tati product as soon as it came out and got it shipped to India. I love it. Very similar to the way the NYX one has been structured, but definitely leveled up. Because you can see that there are six shades in different gradients and different textures. So I really appreciate that. And it comes with a ginormous mirror, which is really dirty because this palette has been sitting at the back of the drawer. I would love to go back to using this, but obviously it's not safe to use expired makeup. So, but I don't want to throw it. I feel like this is one of those palettes that I'll just keep and have because she, I felt, I cried. I genuinely cried when Tati announced the closing of her brand Tati Beauty I feel like I've been team Tati for about six years now since I discovered her channel and uh, she's someone that I think I think that I've mentioned this so many times before and you guys have told me in the comments so many times before that uh, I kind of relate to her on so many levels as a person uh, and it in the past not, not my words your words uh you when you guys have when i've mentioned my love for her you guys have in the past said oh my god you're like indian tati because like i do reviews and this and that i'm like oh my god those are the compliments of the highest order so thank you uh she is my absolute favorite beauty creator that is out there and even though i can't use this palette it is something i'm holding on to it is something i'm um not letting go of i think that she did a fantastic job with this entire brand with that we come to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching the where fam comment shout out of the day goes to blade warrior thank you for watching my videos use the hashtag where fam down below in your comments so i can do these shout outs and possibly choose yours in the next one please hit like on these videos because it really does help me get through this very difficult algorithm i'm trying to break through i love you very 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 much i'm linking and tagging everything i can in this video and down below i will see you in the next one